Hi, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel, JK Star Aid Reader. Today I am doing a Friday Reads. These are the books that I want to get to this Friday and into the next week. So let's get going. I have The Plague by Kevin Chong. So this is a book that was released in 2018, a couple years before the uh, pandemic arrived in North America. And so I am interested in reading the rest of this book. I have read about halfway through already and I see myself getting to the end by Friday on the day that this video will be posted. And so yeah, The Plague, this is a book that uh, because the last couple of years of having to live uh, through uh, social distancing, but in the scenario that uh, Kevin Chong writes, it is uh, seems to be much more severe. And so I am finding this book to be an interesting read as it uh, is situated very much in the Vancouver and there are many familiar names and places that uh, this uh, novel takes place in. And so I am intrigued to want to read more of this book and get my first read of the Asian Readathon done uh, in the first week of the month. So yeah, The Plague by Kevin Chong. Next I have the Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri. So this is another uh, literary fiction title that I have on my Asian Readathon TBR. And then I thought I would uh, start this uh, this weekend. And so this is a book about uh, a family of um, new arrivals from uh, India. And they have uh, arrived and they named their firstborn Gogul. And so it is about them uh, trying to fit in with the American society as well as the difficulties and all, as well as triumphs that, that they uh, experienced along the way. So yeah, the namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri. So this is an older title and it is an author I have not read by read from before. So yeah, I look forward to finally getting into the works of this author. Next I have um, The Last Painting of Sarah Divorce. So this book is not on my Asian Readathon TBR. This is a book actually that is the book club pick for the book club that I am part of in my neighborhood. And so I do want to get reading the books from uh, the different selections that the book club members have chosen uh, because uh, we are meeting again for the first time since the start of the pandemic and so I do want to make an effort of taking part in the readings. So yeah, this is a historical fiction that looks at the life of a painter, Sarah DeVoice who uh, lived in the 1600s in um, uh, Amsterdam. So yeah, uh, this is a, non, uh, a historical fiction title by Dominic Smith. Next I have a, a book that I've been meaning to get around to and this book is a manga. I have not uh, been reading mangas lately but I've been meaning around to get back to it. And so this is one that I have had on my shelf for a while. And I do want to uh, get the rest of the, the books in the series because I think this is an interesting um, premise. So this book is... Oh, it's upside down. It is uh, Descending Stories. This is the first volume in the series uh, about a former inmate who leaves uh, prison and decides to take up the traditional uh, form of comedy in Japan and which is uh, called Rukugo. 
Uh, my Japanese is rusty, so I don't think I pronounced it correctly. It is Rakugo. Okay. And so, yeah, this is the first volume, and I look forward to starting this and see where it takes me in my uh, renewed uh, interest and in reading manga. So, yeah. And this is by the author Haruko Kumota. Next, I have a book that I've started and I want to make progress in. Obviously, I'm uh, straying away from my uh, five book uh, TBR for the Asian Readathon because uh, there are so many books that I have and I do want to make uh, progress in reading them. So, this book is The Other Passenger by Louise Chan Candlish. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I pronounced that name correctly either. I should uh, actually read the titles of the books that I have to show before actually talking about them. But anyways, this is a mystery novel that I started and I have reached about the 50 page mark and it was a while ago that I decided to put it aside and so now that I am returning to it, I think it, uh, I'm not sure if I will uh, start from the beginning or not, but I do want to make a point in reading this book as it is a mystery book and a slightly different pace from the other books that I have shown uh, so far. And so, yeah, this is uh, The Other Passenger by Louise Candlish. So that is it for me for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!